Hi, it's Robbie Strike here today, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Thor Tuner device that you can get. Now what this device is, it's a HD set-top tuner box, so what I want to emphasize this thing uh, does, it does ATSC and QAM. Clear QAM, not encrypted, encrypted QAM. I'm going to do an unboxing of this, we'll take a look at all the fe cool features of this device. Thor Broadcasting, I've done a review on one of their products before, their ATSC modulators. So there's an ATSC uh, modulator that I've talked about before, but this is actually a receiver, not a transmitter. And what this will do is if you're using your modulator, you, you can use this for either QAM or for ATSC, whatever the, um, the application of what you're looking for. And we're going to go through some of the applications that, with the modulator and also the, this tuner what this thing can do and also what if you're just using this for over the air reception this thing is a quite a capable box it's also it doesn't say on the box but I really want to emphasize it has a PVR functions now if you're going to use this as a PVR I do recommend you use a external hard drive faster than some of those cheap Walmart thumb drives uh, USB thumb storage devices just because what I've uh, what I found with these devices in the past is the write speed on some of those cheaper uh, thumb drives is not as fast as... They read fast, but they don't write HD uh, video to the uh, to the thumb drive as fast as we you need it to, or you'll get pixelation. And then I find that happens a lot for my local news. And it's like a, very much like what a VCR used to be. So this one has a different area scan in, but if you want me to need to set it up, you just go to menu. So I'm gonna switch this over to yeah Eastern. One thing before you do your scan, if you're doing cable, now it's not gonna say ATSC or QAM. It'll actually say Air or Cable, which is the same thing and just uh, worded differently. So Air is over the air. And now I have this hooked up to an antenna, my aerial aerial that I can get. So I'm gonna do an auto search now. Manual search is another cool option if you know the physical channel that you're you you want to scan in or you're moving your antenna you can uh, hit scan and do it that way but let's just uh, set it up by doing an auto search so <laughs> it sees my Thor F1 which is my uh, box that I have upstairs that uh, uh, is connected to my satellite receiver and it's sending a signal downstairs it's getting W uh, Syracuse it's getting uh, CBS5 and Comet another thing I want to point out here is it will show you the frequency that the actual ATSC's uh, channel is on, not the channel when you're scanning. So bear that in mind. Uh, you can actually look up the channel charts up on uh, Wikipedia as a resource I found where it will tell you all this. And the tuner, I gotta say, it's actually working better than this TV on this unit here, on the Thor Broadcast unit. It has a good sensitive tuner. So Laugh's another good channel. That's a, one of the DigiNets. MeTV, another great over-the-air uh, DigiNet channel. And I got the Ion Network, which has Ion, Cubo, Ion Plus, Shop, QVC, and Home Shopping Network. Now, my, there's, another, there's another four channels that I can get, but I have to move my antenna to usually be able to get them. So, there we go. And then we've got a Campbell Soup commercial playing in the background. Now, there's a channel that's actually not coming in right now. Uh, some over-the-air broadcasts don't broadcast full power all the time. So, you go to Manual Search. There you go. I was on channel 25. So you get the channel pulled up here and you see the quality on the meter. But if you're on a channel uh, yeah, like this one and there's nothing on it, you get zero, you get nothing. But there's a channel on 14. I just wanted to see if I could pull it in on this. So there's channel 20, channel 19, channel 18. It seems to be that there's a lot of channels, 17, 18, 19, uh, that are coming in today. Um, it might not be coming in right now. But if you were to scan it and say there was stable quality, you just hit confirm and it will do a scan onto that particular channel. Uh, it didn't find it, but that would be how you would uh, say if you were to move your antenna and you wanted to lock in on a channel that you weren't pulling in. Say you got one of these things. Now you, I'd recommend for over the air recording is get an external hard drive, but you can use one of these things too, just a uh, little um, flash drive, USB drive. It should recognize it right away. I have it formatted, um, and I'm just going to go to the menu. If you have video files on this, you can uh, go on here. I got some home videos, and I got some... Uh, so there's a video that I've recorded. I use it for my uh, YouTube clips. Uh, hold 
preview full screen, which is this yellow button on it, and that will make your videos go full screen or to go to the menu. Unfortunately, this doesn't go like full screen right away. You have to find this button here if you want to full screen it, is hit that yellow button there, hold. And the neat thing with the media player is once, this is just a short clip, it will go your next video in there, which is the intro to. So you can use this to play MP4 files. Uh, that's how I do all my edit uh, home. I can bring this down again. So I do all my home video editing with uh, MP4 files, MKV files. It will play that as well. Uh, and uh, what that will do is allow you to play videos off this. Basically, this is also like your modern day VCR where you can play back videos on it. So it is actually a, also a media player. And there's the, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about too is some channels weren't working with the closed captioning. So there's a closed captioning button right there on this device. And you can turn it on, off, or to push the little closed captioning button. If you want it off, just hit that until you see it off right there on the screen. Also, I just want to show you the PVR. So I'm going to just hit record here. Enter recording waiting. And right there on the top of the screen, you see this little counter. And the interesting thing with this device, you can record something. And if you if it's a sub-channel, you can actually watch other channels in the sub-channel while it's recording the channel you're watching. So it doesn't do all the channels, but it will do the channels in the... Uh, right now I'm recording and I got the Cubo... The Cubo Ion TV Mux. I, I Mux, that's a satellite term, but... So yeah, you can record your programming that way and use it as a PVR. I hit stop. And then just hit yes to stop your recording. If you want to watch back your recordings, you just hit menu, which is the top button here on the remote. And you just go into your USB multimedia settings. So to view your uh, recordings on a storage device, you do have to go to the PVR settings, not the multimedia or movie settings, because it just won't see the file under the setting. Also photos, you only see photos in here. And music, you only see like waves and MP3s and AUG files. So you find the folder, it says HB PVR. Now most likely you won't have a whole whack of directories. This is just my storage device, which I have a whole whack of music on it. And then you'll see QVC, which is a dot, uh, which is 1040 MTS, and it will start playing back that channel. It it will only record the channel. It won't tell you the program that you're recording. And you can make a full screen by hitting the hold button and play it back that way. You can fast forward. Now there is a PVR configuration, but I don't want to uh, format the um, USB storage device that I'm using for this and. Most of the time you won't have to, but if it's not working and you're fine, it's, uh, you bought like a new uh, USB card, you can format it and that might make it work. It'll format it to what the uh, Thor uh, tuner wants to be formatted to. And another thing you can do is if you want to have time shifting, you can set this up and part of the PVR function is you can have it set up for time shift and rewind. Uh, so if you're watching a video, you can get about one gigabyte of record time so you can um, hit pause and then fast forward through commercials and a lot of people use that feature it's a good feature so this thing is a fat 32 it's a 30 gigabyte Lexer thumb drive or USB drive right here this thing here All right. so if you want to record something you just go to your EPG guide hit EPG and say I want to record Knight Rider here so it'll go to an event and it, it, are, it has all the information on the EPG you can even say repeat or here's a neat option now if you just want to switch your device so you can switch channels automatically and not you know and then uh, not have to do it every day just switch to the news for you automatically or whatever you can do two things you can set it for that for that or you can set it to record so you go record and there you go you got it set up to record a, a event just set for once but you can set it for daily weekly or whatever you want just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, too, when you go take your Lexer drive or whatever hard drive that you're using and bring it in, it will just show up as an MTS stream file and uh, it will, and you can actually take it into a com uh, your computer here from watching over the air. So if you want to put this like, I don't know, upload it to YouTube or something or yeah, take a news story off your local news and then upload it, you can 
do that do it this way you know it's, it's kind of a neat thing for whatever reason you might want to record a video source and you could also take this and like convert it to from an mts file and take it in a program like um a video editor or in handbrake and convert it to an mkv file and watch it on a tablet on on the go or on or even on your phone so it's kind of a neat feature that you can take your recordings and take them with you if you want to go through the process of doing that in my area I, my internet service provider is through my uh, coaxial cable your traditional cable so some people are going to ask can i use this to receive cable and the answer is yes but most it will not decrypt your cable channel so like if you have encrypted channels like what i do on my system all the encrypted channels are not going to come in and there's no way that i'm able to tell you that this box will be able to hack it doesn't do that it won't hack your cable like how people did back in the olden days with analog cable and got the pay channels it doesn't do that what this does it just gets the in the clear channels so bear that in mind but i am able to get a few channels which is pretty nice uh, i'm able to get uh, the weather channel the local community channel uh, is what they refer to it in Canada. In the States, they refer to it as the cable access channel. So there's this local cable channel that is uh, that does local programming. A lot of the times it has, has a bulletin board. At certain points during the day, they have the local programming. And there's like a promotional preview channel for their pay-per-view. So that's all that I'd be able to get through my cable. Now, years before, uh, maybe about eight years ago, maybe less than eight years ago, I used to be able to connect the cable up to my TV sets and to a box similar to this, and I was able to get about 40 standard definition channels, but once they got rid of all the standard definition channels, they just encrypted every, just about everything. So, but what you could use it for is for, for with Qualm, if you're using it for your own master antenna system or you're creating your own cable system and there is some smaller cable systems out there that won't encrypt all of their basic stuff so you'll be able to get all the basic stuff on a box like this check with your cable company usually your cable company is going to want to you to rent or buy one of their proprietary receivers and that's how they go about doing that that's just how cable works but don't worry about cable this does even better than that it does atsc over the air and that's what a primary use for this is for a over-the-air tuner PVR for uh, and one thing I got to mention too is stay tuned to my channel please like and uh, keep subscribed to it because I'm gonna cover a few more of these Thor broadcast uh, things and for setting up a master antenna uh, setup and I'm even gonna show you how to set up it using fiber optic cable as opposed to coax and we'll see how that will work out. I haven't done it yet, but we'll take a look at that. And uh, I'm really looking forward to taking uh, taking a look at um, routing out some uh, coax to fiber optic back to coax and seeing how that will work as with my master antenna system. To tell you about the service that I'd like to uh, tell you about, it's ExpressVPN. So if you want to watch, say, Netflix or a streaming service and you're in a country like Canada, and it's region block certain programs are region blocked so you can't get it you can use express vpn to watch anything that you want and also if you have a cell phone like one of these so if you use public wi-fi you can use this that you can download in the uh, play store or in the app store and it's express vpn you just log in with your account and all you do to connect is you just tell tell it which uh, area you want to connect to whether you want to be in toronto say you're in toronto or if you want to say you're in New York City and you just click connect. To learn about free satellite TV, go to www.freesatellitetv.net. So thanks for liking this. Please subscribe. And if you like this content, please come to my channel. Click on the little tab on my channel that says videos or playlists. And you'll be able to find all sorts of playlists uh, that were with interesting videos. And you can sit back and watch. And you'll learn how to be smart like me. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I hope that it's able to help people with being able to get free TV and do other cool things with technology that maybe it's not meant to supposed to do. But there's a way of getting it to do some cool stuff. Mm -hmm.